Yo, what's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily make melodies with Omnisphere in FL Studio. So let's get right into it. First things first is I'm going to drag a drum loop in because I want to be able to have a groove and I don't want to have to make the drums right now. That doesn't mean I have to use this drum loop. It'll just let me get a groove going and then I can make my drums later because this is about melodies right now. So let me get a nice little groove here. See, I like that one right there. I held shift and clicked it to drag it while copying it. All right. Now that we got this, let's get down to business. We put in another pattern that's just empty. And I'm going to click this channel rack for that pattern. Now, I... Uh, I am not the best with music theory. I don't know about you, but uh, sometimes I like to know if I'm on scale and then I'm following it. So a good little thing you can do is you can um, bring in something random. Let me just bring in this another one of these loops. Turn it all the way down. Rename it. Scale. Hold Alt while it's green right here. You can hold Alt and press up on the uh, little directional D-pad thing you got on the keyboard. Uh, and you will bring it up here at the top. And now I can go up here to stamp. Where is it? Oh, I got to go in the piano roll. Right click it, go in piano roll, and I can go to stamp. And find a scale right here. So let's decide what scale we want to do. Maybe I want to be minor harmonic. So I can click this, and then I'm going to put it on my root note. Let's do C. It's going to put all the notes in the minor harmonic scale for C in that octave. I can hold shift and just drag it up for each octave. There's a faster way to do this, and you know, please let me know. Okay? Now, I can uh, make sure, if they're not, uh, as long as you want them, just hold control and hit A to select it all, and you can drag it out to whatever length you want. Why is this helpful? Because as long as this scale is on the same pattern, let me open an instance of Omnisphere. With whatever VST I'm using, I can right click it, go in the piano roll of this, and it will show the ghost notes behind. So I can make sure I, I'm on scale when I'm putting in my melodies. So let's let's get right to the melody making now. Let me find something. Let's do a nice ambient keyboard. You see, I like how that sounds. So what I can do is go in the piano roll and just start making a melody here. Following this, making sure I stay on the root note, which in this case is C. So it's whatever first note you start with and that you put your, um, your, your pattern on. So I got C here. Let's see what I can make. With this scale thing, it's super easy. You can just drag in and then test it. Most of the time, as long as they're all on, it'll sound good. Control and click to highlight this. I'm going to hold shift to drag it over.
See how that backing track really helps me get a groove of what's going on here? That's really eerie, too, so... I can go up in here and try to maybe add some higher notes. select all of these by holding control and clicking I'm gonna hit all R and that's gonna uh, randomize the velocity it's gonna open up like this if it's the first time you opened it just unclick this pattern and come down here and mess with velocity and I'm gonna hold alt and then use my middle mouse button to scroll down uh, all of the velocities as you see down here Now I'm thinking that this should be a different sound. So I can hit Control X to cut it out of there. I can right click this and hit clone to make another Omnisphere. Right click piano roll and then hit uh, Control V to paste it in there. Let's make this another sound. I can sound match this cosmic piano by uh, highlighting it and that's what that original one is and I can go to sound match and I can look for other sounds that are similar to it I'm gonna cut it off there and then put it on a different pattern actually that way they know they can be separate I'm going to um, copy it over here and I'm going to bring these three notes by holding control and then pressing down on that on the D-pad or whatever. Bring it down an octave and uh, you go in here and remove that. There we go. Now we can uh, move these over by holding control and then uh, dragging with the click. We can just have this be the next part, you know, and then I'm going to do that again and put in another pattern here because I know I'm going to want another little melody coming in when this comes back around. So. So we can loop a certain part by going to it, putting our cursor head there, right clicking on this black part up here on the playlist, and then dragging to where we want to end the loop, and then it will just loop that part in the playlist. So now I can go into pattern three here, clone this and put another instance of Omnisphere, and we're going to look for leads, try to find some cool, uh, weird, eerie leads. So I can go up in here to patch browser. You turn this autoplay off. If you find it like when you're clicking on stuff 
and it's just playing it and you don't like that, you can turn it off by just clicking this autoplay thing. All right, so let me, I'm in this patch browser. I want to go to this type right here and I want to look for synth or lead synth. So it'll be in the L's. Where the L's at? Uh, right here. Okay, let's let's go up into ambient. See if we can find some weird stuff. So that was just me messing with it. Uh, but yeah, we'll try to go with something like that. So I can right click it. Uh, since the scale's not on this pattern, I can just go in here and cut it from the pattern that it is in. Move it in here. That's not right. Sounds pretty dope. I don't know if I like how the sound of it is. I may like the pattern, but I don't know if I like the sound. So what I can do is I can click this. And let me see here. Let me just try to find something else and change it out. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. So, you know, just follow these tips. Make sure you lay it out right. Don't have everything playing all at once all the time, you know. Give some – let stuff breathe in and out. And uh, make sure you play with a backing track, you know, to get a good groove. And make sure you're on scale. 
and it's real easy with FL Studio because it gives you these things like putting this scale in yourself, you know. That is so crucial, in my opinion, for myself it is. I use it in everything, so. And it helps you learn music theory along the way, so. Make sure you stick with that and just stay being creative, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like and you subscribe because I try to post a lot of content. So stay tuned for that because there could be a lot of dope gems that you learn. Because I try to I try to drop everything that I know, you know, in um, in ways that I can. Because there's no no reason I think people should be hoarding knowledge or whatever. So yeah, guys, let's get this. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you stay safe out there. Much love, everybody. Peace out.